Now, in previous sections, we've talked about our good old friend Delta V, and not unsurprisingly, in human spaceflight, that governs a lot of what we can do. Yes, so as you said, professionals talk about Delta V, not distances. So, to get to either the Moon or Mars, you're going to need a delta V of about 9 km a second to get to a low Earth orbit. That's, that's, right. that's what we're using at the moment to get to the International exactly. Space Station. Now, to get to the Moon's surface all the way from the Earth's surface, you need a delta V of about 15 km per second. Well, that's quite a bit more so, than yes, just the low Earth so orbit. So it's 9 to get to low Earth orbit, and then another 6 to get from there to the Moon orbit, and then down to the Moon's surface. Yeah. Um, the way back is much easier. Now, if you wanted to land by rocket, retro rocket, it would be the same to get back. Yep. But um, you still need to have enough rocket fuel on the moon to get you up to orbit and a transfer orbit back to the Earth. Yep. But the way the Orion space probe worked, and in fact the way the Apollo spacecraft worked, is it just then ploughed into the Earth's atmosphere yep. and used aero braking to slow it down. So, so you save essentially a little bit that way, right? You save letting, a lot. <laughs> letting the Earth do your work. Yeah, so that drops it from 15 down to 3 kilometres a second. Okay, so that's a lot coming back. Yep. Now, to get to Mars, and again, to go all the way from the Earth's surface to Mars' surface, we're using rockets the whole way, it's 19 kilometers a second. So it's only four different from the Moon to Mars. That's but remember, it's exponential, a rocket yeah, equation, exponential, going from 15 to 19 true. can make you fuel four times more or something mm, like that. Okay. Um, but going to Mars, you can do something you can't do on the Moon, which is you can aero break in Mars's atmosphere. That's true, right? Which you can't do on the Moon. Mars has an atmosphere, and so you can use that. Uh, partially or totally slow your spacecraft down. And that's what some of the spacecraft already do going to Mars. Yep. And that brings it down from 19 km a second to only 13. So, so it's actually easier than... The Moon, yeah. Yeah, okay. So in principle, if you use lots of aero braking on Mars, Mars is a less delta V than the Moon. It's an easier place to get to. And it doesn't matter that it is further away, because what we care about, as you said, is the delta V. That's right. On the way back, it's harder, because it takes more energy to get off Mars' yes. surface, but still if you air brake on the Earth's atmosphere, it's only six kilometers a second. All right, so that's still not terrible, so it's doable. Yeah, so in terms of sheer delta V, it's not so bad. Um, let's actually put some numbers in this. Yep. So the uh, SLS that's, that's going to launch the Artemis rocket. Going to the moon. So it's got uh, VE, uh, that's the exhaust yes. velocity. Yes. And that's what fits into the rocket equations. It's about four kilometers. It's actually a bit more than that for the central rockets and a bit less for the outside boosters because it's a hydrogen oxygen. Yes. With hydrogen liquid oxygen, which is typically about four and a half. Plus a solid rocket boosters are about two and a half. If you average it all out, it's about four kilometers a second. Yep. So we need 15 to get to the moon. So the m wet over m dry is e to the 15, which is delta v yep. over four, which is the v e. Yep. Which, which is, is about 43. So you need about 40 kilograms of fuel to take one kilogram of stuff to, to the, the moon. moon surface. To the moon surface. So that's worse. Low Earth orbit, as we've calculated before, is about 20. Yep. So this is 40. It's about twice as bad. I mean, so you, you kind of expect it, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's but not totally yeah, crazy. That's right. Um, Okay, remember the graph. So previously we had delta V of about three to one for low Earth orbit, which ran across to about twenty. Now we're up at nearly four, which means over forty. Yeah, so it's really starting to get into that really exponential climb on this curve. That's right. Coming back, on the other hand, now we only need to achieve if you use air breaking in the Earth, only a delta V of about two and a half kilometers a second. We've got four from if you have a hydrogen oxygen rocket, which you probably won't have on the moon. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it'll probably be more like three. But anyway, that's only 1.8 or so. That means you might need 50 50 fuel and rocket. Yeah, we, yeah we, that's actually not, I mean, that's completely doable. And I guess we kind of know this, right? They did this in the Apollo program. And in practice, what you do is you, you have one rocket to get you up into moon orbit, and then yeah. you rendezvous with another one which has the fuel to get you back. So. And that's actually one of the spirits of the gateways we talked about as this kind of of rendezvous point of actually going back and forth. Okay, so not, not ridiculous in terms of delta V.